Are you tired of being exploited by your employer? Let me tell you, workers across the world have been dealing with the struggle since the beginning of capitalism over 300 years ago. But there has been many nations and many oppressed peoples who have stood against their oppressors to fight for a better future. Places like the Soviet Union, China, Venezuela, Cuba, Bolivia, and more recently Peru. And I can tell you they've been had, they've had lots of successes bringing the people out of poverty. In the United States, right now, we've been fighting for a $15 minimum wage. But that $15 minimum wage, we've been fighting for it for so long, it's worth the $7.25 that it was worth in 2006. We have been fighting for health care, for Medicare for all, and we've been fighting at least since 2016 for most Americans here. And yet, we have some of the most expensive health care still. We've made no progress. Why have we not made progress on Medicare for all? Why have we not made progress on a $15 minimum wage? Why have we not made progress on all the problems that Manhattan and New York City and the rest of the country all feel. It's because we have a government of action that fights for multinational corporations, that fights for banks, that fights for the oil companies. Right now, people are homeless on the street and we're about to have more people come out in the street now that the eviction notice is coming. The police are going to be showing up at the doorstep showing eviction notice at people's doors because they can't afford to be able to pay for their own uh, rent. They can't afford to be able to pay for their own health care. They can't afford to be able to pay for their own food. We don't have to keep with this system that keeps us exploited and in poverty. We can build a better society and we can do it through collective action. We can build a society in which workers do not need to be exploited and instead can live in prosperity. So I ask you, New York, I ask you, Manhattan, do you want a government of action that fights for multinational corporations? Or do you want a government of action that fights for working families? Do you want a government of action that provides a national health care system that makes sure people that have leukemia can actually afford their medication? Do you want a government of action that fights for working families that makes sure that you have access to affordable housing? Do you want a government of action that fights for working families that will fight to make sure that students aren't exploited and have massive amounts of financial debt because they tried to make a better life for themselves. We have an opportunity right now to organize our communities and our workplaces and to understand what needs to be done in this time. We can build a better world collectively. It is up to us. It's up to us, Manhattan. It's up to us, New York. It's up to us, America. We can build a better America and we can do it with each other. We can do it through fighting for a government of action for working families. But how, how do we get there? How do we get to the point where we can organize our communities and organize our workplaces? We obviously can't just pick up and have a general strike. It doesn't work that way. No. The Center for Political Innovation has the answer. The Center for Political Innovation has the ability to push and educate the population, make them aware of they, what they can do together collectively. We need to nationalize the banks. Why do we need to nationalize the banks? Because credit should not be paid in interest. Credit should be given to those who can produce small businesses based on their ideas and how they can actually improve society. It shouldn't be given out 
money to these multinational corporations. It shouldn't be given out to the capitalist owner class. The money should be put in the hands of the people. Nationalize the banks. We need to nationalize our health care system. The best way to have proper health care is have health care free for every person in the country. Almost every other industrialized nation in the world has a nationalized health care system. We can have it too. We need to make sure that public education is free so people can actually build something with their lives. And let's be clear, the government needs to step in and provide all the resources necessary so people can do startups, so people can actually have a successful business. We need to make sure we nationalize all of our natural resources. Many other countries in the world have nationalized their resources and have pulled the, 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 the hands off of the nation, their nation's natural resources and have given it to the people. Things like oil, things like wood, things like our agricultural industry. It needs to be in the hands of the people. We need a government of action that's willing to fight for a better future, and that is what the Center for Political Innovation will fight for. We are all in this together. I'm sure all of New York heard that phrase, but I can tell you one thing, the multinational corporations are not the ones that uh, are all in this together. It is us, the working class, those who bank the profit of society. Jeff Bezos flies into the sky and he does it on the working man's dime. We are the ones who made Jeff Bezos rich. We are the ones who made ExxonMobil rich. We are the ones who made the banks rich. They did not do that. We did the working class, each and every one of us with our blood, sweat, and tears. That is what creates the profit of society, so we should benefit from society. Here at the Center for Political Innovation, we have the pathway out. So go to our website, cpiusa.org, and you can find out what the future of America can look like. Thank you very much, New York.